Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing the ACC Benz Basketball Tournament. We're going to be discussing this one, and the Big 12 Tournament should be coming out right after this because it's starting in like an hour. I forgot it started today, so I need to make these videos pretty early. But yeah, if ESPN pulled up here, you probably won't be able to see it. But whenever they show up, we might do some live reactions to certain games, depending on how good they are and all that. But sort of the ACC tournament right now. They kind of uh, kind of like how the SEC tournament is. Uh, you have the top four seeds get buys, which is North Carolina, Duke, Virginia, and Pitt. It always amazes me how Virginia is so high. Whenever they can't shoot. They can't score. They can't do anything offensively. And somehow ACC teams just let them, just stop them and score. Like, I remember, I remember game Wake Forest. Now, Virginia went 1 for 11 from the free throw line, and they still won. Uh, that might just show how bad Wake Forest is or how bad the ACC is in general when it comes to depth and they're good in teams. But, anyways, let's discuss the games uh, today. You have games at uh, 2 p.m., 4.30, and 7. We'll discuss in order the games. The 2.30 game is, is 12th ranked Notre Dame versus 13th ranked Georgia Tech. I watched some of Notre Dame this year. They have some decent talent on their team. Nothing incredible, though. They've had some good. I think they've won on their senior night, which is a good thing for them. And for Georgia Tech, again, I don't know much about them. I remember they beat North Carolina at one point, though. So they clearly have good game, but big game potential. I'm going to ride with that. I got Georgia Tech in this one. And then you have um, 10th ranked NC State versus 15th ranked Louisville. Louisville's the worst team in the ACC. It's been like that for the past three years. It, they've just, they're just not they're just not good. They're very, very, very bad. So I'd be shocked if NC State loses. They have their big guy. I gave Duke problems. Hopefully they can go to him earlier on and let him go. Bah, 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 all that. They have no other really off of talent that I saw throughout that Duke game. That really showed up to me other than him. So it's big. I think number 30. It's that guy's name. Watch out for him in this game. And then you have 11th ranked Boston College versus 14th ranked Miami. Miami fell up hard. My gosh, they fell up hard. They went from a Final Four team to a bottom three team in the ACC. I have Miami winning this one. Am I confident? No. But I just don't want, I'd just be surprised if Boston College wins. That's just kind of the thing. I'd be more surprised if they win if my, than if Miami wins type of thing. Even though Miami's a lower seed, I'm still going to pick them in this one. I've seen them do some talent. I think they played early on this year and I watched that game. I think Boston College might have won. It's not Boston College, I'm pretty sure. But that's still, I still believe Miami's going to win. Upsets happen. I'm going with that. We have 8th ranked Virginia Tech versus 9th ranked Florida State in the second round. We're moving on to the second round now. Uh, my opinion on this, Virginia Tech has had some good performances. They can shoot. They have decent defense. And Florida State, uh, something similar to that realm. Not exactly. I do like Virginia Tech in this one, though. I do like Virginia Tech in this one. I think they'll be able to beat Florida State in what they have. I think there's a little bit better offensive power in my ways, and they're a tad bit better defense. But there's a tad bit better in Florida State in two things, which, if they perform to that level, will win them the game. Then you have uh, 12th ranked, in my predictions, 13th ranked Georgia Tech versus 5th ranked Wake Forest. Uh, I'm not, you know, Wake Forest is one of those teams I could definitely see losing to a bad team. But they did beat Duke. And they have they have got progressively better throughout the year. I'm starting to trust this team a bit more. And I think for them to solidify a good spot in the tournament, they would need to win one of these games. So I think they'll be playing for more. I got, uh, I got Wake Forest in this one. Then you have 7th ranked Syracuse versus 10th ranked NC State. Syracuse is not bad. They're not a bad team. They're just nothing that shows. There's nothing that impresses me. Again, they're about Bayheim, their coach this year. I think this is the first year he's not been there. I've heard Syracuse might be able to make the tournament. I've seen that before. I'm a little bit surprised by that. But I think NC State will catch kind of catch a wave of good energy and good performances. I don't know how. I can't say why because I really don't know. But there's a lot of teams in these like turn conference tournaments that catch waves of energy and they just ride it. I, I have a feeling NC State's going to be one of those teams. I have them beating Syracuse in this one. They're moving on to the third round. 
And then the last one of my 14th ranked Miami versus 8th ranked, I mean 6th ranked Clemson. As long as this game's not close late, I have no problem. I, I think Clemson would be able to win this game. But I have seen Clemson play very badly in close games. I know they did beat North Carolina in that close one. But I remember also watching them single-handedly choke a game against Georgia Tech in one of the most impressive ways I've seen a team choke a lead this year in college basketball. Very impressive. So, as long as it's not close, which I doubt it will be, I got Clemson in this one. So, yeah, I got Clemson beating the, the Hurricanes, the Ducks of Miami. Then you're on to the quarterfinals, which brings in all the top four teams now. Yeah, I have a uh, eighth ranked Virginia Tech playing against North Carolina. These are the games that will be on Thursday. North Carolina should win. I'm a North Carolina fan. I'm probably going to be biased when it comes to this, but we should win this game. RJ Davis is just one player, the conference player of the year. You have um, Cormac Ryan coming off a phenomenal performance. The only problem with this is that we have a layoff, and sometimes whenever we have a big high, we end up losing. Like whenever we did really good against Duke, and then we end up losing to Clemson at home. That's bad. So stuff of that nature. Can't have that happen. I think we've learned from that, though. I think we'll get better. I do have uh, North Carolina winning this game, though. Might be close in the first half, but then they'll pull away in the second. Like a lot of the things that we have throughout this year. End up pulling away at one point. Hit those seven, eight, zero runs. Two of those will put Virginia Tech away. The Hokies away. You have um, fourth-ranked Pitt versus fifth-ranked uh, Wake Forest, or fifth-seeded, I should say. My bad, seeded. They're not that highly ranked in NCAA. But Pitt without... I've not watched a lot of Pitt basketball, to be honest with you. I've watched enough of Wake Forest. I think Wake Forest has enough to upset Pitt in this one, and I think they will. I do have Wake, I have Wake Forest win this one. It's mainly because I just have not watched enough Pitt, of Pittsburgh basketball. I didn't know they were a top-four seed. I'm sorry. I just didn't. I didn't expect that. Uh, I've heard I've heard they're not bad. I've heard they're not bad. I just don't see any really impressive wins on their schedule. Like a Duke or a North Carolina. That's like, wow, that pops out as a big win right there. Wake Forest has that. That catches my eye more. I'm going with them in this one. You have uh, second-ranked Duke versus 10th-ranked NC State. That, again, that's all my predictions. You can give yours. I'd love to hear yours. You probably have better explanations than me. So, yeah. But Duke, North Carolina. So we already saw this play out about two weeks ago. Or a week or two ago. Duke, even though Phil Powski playing bad in the first half, just kept getting rebounds. NC State has no bench depth when it comes to centers. They, North Carolina, Duke's only thing they have really good in depth. I mean, the only thing their centers do in their depth chart is rebound. That's the only thing they do. And they had like 13 offense rebounds in the first half against NC State. I kept them to have the lead. I think, and they just carried it on. Phil Passy's not going to play that bad. He's not going to get himself in foul trouble that early on. North Carolina, I mean, North Carolina State will have a chance in this one. Unlikely, though, I got Duke to win that one. And then we had number sixth ranked Clemson versus third ranked Virginia. I think Clemson will get past 50 points. So I got Clemson in this one. Virginia is the Iowa of basketball, pretty much. Iowa's football is notoriously known as the worst football offense in the history of football offenses. Virginia is kind of like that. But Virginia actually has won more. They've won titles because, guess what? They had a decent offense one year with Ty Jerome, Kyle Guy, DeAndre Hunter. They had a decent offense. Uh, Diakite, they had a decent offense. Or... Some might say pretty good. And they won a national title with that team. So it's like, you see what happens when they actually focus on the offensive side of the ball? You should remember that, Iowa. But they don't focus on that. This is probably the worst offense Virginia's produced in years. Uh, I got Clemson in this one. They should be able to score more than 60. And if they do that, they will win. Then we're on to the semifinals. You have uh, North Carolina versus Wake Forest. Am I seeing upset? Kinda. And there's a part of me that kind of sees an upset here. Do I want an upset? No. But usually in the NCAA tournament, I mean, usually in the ACC tournament, they did have an upset of some sort. There's usually just not the two top teams fighting it out. You look in past year, Syracuse has won the, the tournament. Virginia Tech has won the tournament recently. 
So some of these teams aren't the best teams, but they end up winning their tournament because they upset some of these bigger teams. I could see that happening in this one. I think Wake Forest could be one of those teams that's kind of like, wow, I did not expect that. Because I think the record is kind of miscued because they had a slow start. They had kind of a slower start to the year. And then they kind of picked up again. They had that win against Duke, but they've had some other performances that might not make you not think they're as good as they actually might be. They are pretty good. They make their big shots. They get key stops, and they're they're good in uh, crunch time situations, which will help you win a lot of games. I'm not sure how they're good at free throw shooting, but whenever they had a chance to pull away against Duke, they did. North Carolina, I could see them having a slump of a game, especially riding a wave. Everything going good. Hubert Davis become coach of the year. Yeah, R.J. Davis becoming the conference player of the year, beating Duke, beating Virginia Tech. You feel like you're doing really good, and then you get stuffed in the first half to Wake Forest, and then you just cannot get that extra run in. What scares me the most is if we have a situation like we have against Miami, which I did a live reaction on, actually, which we blew a 13-point lead, and then barely were able to win the game because they just couldn't rebound. Miami couldn't. So... I think Wake Forest can take advantage. I got Wake Forest in this one. I hate to say that, but I think they do. And then you have a second-ranked Duke versus a sixth-ranked Clemson. Clemson has shown good potential. Again, a very good potential. I think coming off a win against Virginia. Would be interesting to see how that plays out. I think John Shire will get his team prepared more. I think they will watch the game against North Carolina and Wake Forest and be like, we cannot let that happen. This is our opportunity. Let's go out and win it. And they'll go out and beat uh, Clemson type of thing. I got them beating Clemson. That's pretty much what I'm saying. I think Phil Pasco would be enough. I think Proctor is very good. I think uh, McCain is coming more into his own. And then you have uh, Jeremy Roach, who had a bad game against North Carolina, but I bet he can probably bounce back on it. So I got duped in this one. And then you have the championship game, Duke versus Wake Forest. And I kind of am leaning toward Wake Forest. I'm winning an upset. I feel like they're an upset in this one. I feel like one of these tournaments will have a big upset. I think Wake Forest will be one of those teams. I think Wake Forest will be that team. I'm not sure why, but I have a feeling more than anything else that Wake Forest will end up winning the ACC tournament. Go on, Wake Forest. Go ahead and do this. Prove me right. Go beat Duke. Go beat North. I don't want you to beat North Carolina, but I think you will just by knowing how this team is. And yeah, Duke, main reason why I don't have it, it's tough for them to win a lot of games in a row. They don't usually do that. They usually have like five, four or five in a row, then a loss, four or five, loss, three, loss type of thing. That kind of would set them up in this situation. They would have had to beat Clemson, would have had to beat Virginia. I mean, would have had to beat Clemson, would have had to beat another team before then. And then they would have them. So they would kind of have a win streak, then an L type of thing set up. I could see that happening. I got Wake Forest winning this game. So yeah, I got Wake Forest winning the, the, not national, the ACC tournament. So yeah, put in the comments. You're opinion about this. You probably disagree with it more likely than not. But yeah, hope you have a great day. Stay safe, y'all. And God bless y'all.